Find the mean, median, and mood for the following earnings data for a housewife who returned to the workforce in 2003. Which measure of the center would you recommend to best represent the data below? Mean, median, or mode? Why? Okay, in order to calculate the mean, we have to add up all these data values and divide by the number of values we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values. So let's write that down. N is equal to seven. Now to save a little time on this problem, I've gone ahead and added up all of these values ahead of time. So the sum of those x values turns out to be 297,628. To calculate x bar, which is the sample mean, we're going to take the 297,628 and divide it by R7. And when we're finished with that, we end up with this number, 42,000. 518 and 29 cents. That's rounding it off to the nearest penny. Okay, so that's the average. In order to calculate the median, we have to first put all of these data values in order. So let's do that down here and then we'll calculate the median. So the first value I see in 2004 is zero, and there was first value in terms of the lowest number, right? Then the next lowest number is the 38,053. I'm going to abbreviate that 38K, just so we don't have to write all those numbers out. Then 41,000. And it looks like the next one is about 46 or so. Then the next one is about 48. And then the next number is 55 or 56, I should say, and then 69. Okay, so I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have all seven values. There are three values here, three values here. The number in the middle then is 46. There's three numbers to the left, three numbers to the right. The number smack in the middle is this 46. Remember that represented the actual value of 45,501. So that is our median. Okay, so now we have the median and we have the mean. Between these two values, if I had to choose which one to use, I would choose the median. The reason why is that this zero in the data set is a very low value. It's an extremely low value when compared to the other values, which are all in the thousands. The minimum number is 38,000, then there's zero. That's a big gap. This extreme number here is lowering the average slightly. So as a result, the average may be a little underrepresented. You can see that, you know, one, two, three, four years were higher than this value. That one year is kind of an anomaly. Perhaps she didn't work that year. Maybe she took off. Um, the other years after that, she worked. In the years she worked, she never really made less than, say, around 40,000. 38 is a little below, but, um, you know, when you have this average, average in, in this list of numbers, this zero, that's going to create an effect that lowers the average. So in general, with salary data or um, home value data, stuff like that, they can be highly affected by extreme values. For example, a really high salary would cause the same problem or perhaps a really low salary in a list. It might be best to use the median in those instances. The median is robust. It resists those kind of fluctuations. So that low number doesn't really put much impact upon the median because no matter what it was, as long as it's under the number in the middle, it doesn't really um, make much of a difference for where, where the median is located. As far as the mode, the last measure that's mentioned here, um, there really is no mode. None of these numbers are repeated. They're all individual. They're all unique. And for that reason, there's no mode. A mode is the most, re the mode is the most repeated value present, and there is no number that's most repeated. So in that case, we can um, discard the mode or say there's no mode for this data set. Um, so I would recommend the median as a choice.